ஹலோ ஹலோ கைஸ் குட் மார்னிங் டு ஆல் திஸ் இஸ் தமிழ் மாறன் டுடே ஐ வுட் லைக் டு டிஸ் டுடே ஐ வுட் லைக் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் த டிவோ ஒன் சோலிட்டிஸ் அண்ட் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் லெவல்ஸ் அண்ட் டிசைட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் கவரேஜ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் கவரேஜஸ் அவைலபிள் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் நாட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் கவரேஜ் ஜென்ரலி வி கேன் டூ ஃபார் இன் டிவோ ஒன் சோலிட்டி அக்கார்டிங் டு த ஒயிட் ஹவுஸ் டெஸ்டிங் டெக்னிக் ஓகே So as we know that DO also will be provide a very good safety guidelines for the airworthy certification specifically for uh, this IT avionics um, whatever the air application airworthy application okay and DO on DO on be standard was uh, globally accepted by the with the help of team like RTC radio technical communication from Washington and federal aviation agency FAA okay Uh, so as we know that now what is statement coverage we'll see will respect of this so what is statement coverage and uh, how it will be mapping into the level c now we are going to see how the code coverage will going to happen okay so as we know that d1 is going to be standard according to once you develop your code so you are supposed to conduct the you have to give the clearance for the white box testing and black box testing technique and uh, in, in case of required for this gray box testing technique also you are supposed to clear so what is this white box testing technique it's white box testing totally come into the code approach okay directly you will approach the code so in white box testing thing to check the internal structure of the code okay so what is there in structure what is what is there in internal structure of the code as we know that the structure of the code generally we can describe as there are say n number of statements will be there and path coverage and modified condition decision condition loop coverage transition coverage requirement coverage unit coverage and different modules uh, small pieces of the code like component level this all is kind of uh, like a white box testing approach with respect to our source code what we have we had uh, uh, create a developed for the objective code okay uh, now okay this all availability i just say about you now we are going to say uh, i'm going to explain about this tv on sanity level C in level C actually this statement coverage comes under the level C as we know that uh, now we will open some small uh, notepad also it will be more helpful to understand uh, very easily so just for that we'll go ok I am trying to open for notepad so now I will be explaining about this as you know the do on so let me stand that we are going to explain about do on so let me stand that which is comes for the structural structural objective s t so first we first we have to say about what is uh, statement coverage statement coverage is nothing actually we have one code actually. which code we are going to test now that code actually statement uh, coverage means number of line in the objective code okay so this is generally do on sir we ask for the statement coverage which we are going to explain which we are going to discuss on stat statement statement coverage okay so what is statement coverage as i told you statement coverage means number of lines in the object code very simple number of lines in object code okay so now i am going to explain how i take on small code and how many lines or how many statements are there and followed by uh, what is the true condition on i will be taking one condition that condition how the start is fine how i am invoking the code top to bottom and bottom to top like that how many number of lines that code contains so how i am covering the structural statement coverage okay. as you know the statement coverage is equal to this is on formulate for the number of statement exercise by total number of code. It means how many code is available, how many code you got exercise for the as per our total flow and the sequence wise. Okay. So total number of statement 
Team Code. Let me look, let me exercise Team Code. Okay. And under percentage code coverage. This is a formulate for uh, uh, statement problem. So, if you get any objective code, if, the, if you want to be a code for to cover the statement coverage, uh, as per the DO also in it be, what is the formulate when this is, generally it comes under DO also in it be level C we can, as per the global design for from Federal Aviation RTC team there, they made the statements. If you are using for commercial application for the aircraft, you are supposed to follow this standards according to the DO also in it be for IT and it's it comes in the level C. Level C as we know that it comes in a major failure. Major failure occupant may get effect also. So that will be displayed on later. So occupant will get will not more injured. They will get injured, but it will be acceptable injury. Some way there will be uh, occupants can be escaped. For example, occupant means like passenger and those who are flying the aircraft like co crew pilot. So we can say as examples. That is a different case. Now we are going to see that I am going to take one small code so small expression I am going to take according to that expression what on a boolean variable or the boolean operation is taking or how it is execution followed by the condition also uh, we'll check now so I am taking one code this is on small objective code okay which code we are going to do the test for specific statement coverage okay so read x I just I am taking two values, just very simple. So simple code I am going to take. If you are understanding the concept of statement code, then you can go for the uh, whatever the big codes are available, you can it's very easily understandable. Statement code is very easy, it's not even for the very big deal. Uh, so Z is equal to I am going to write one expression. So X into plus who into work. I hope you can understand this. So I will explain you. This is just so an expression. I know two values I taken now. If condition, if is that is greater than uh, some values I can take. Some pity I will take. Some I will acknowledge. So then uh, print as just nothing else. Is that value is greater than 50? Just I am printing large is that. Else I am finishing the code. Okay. Not even one else for only one uh, if condition is for here. If condition is for very simple code I have taken. Uh, I hope you might be understanding this. So this is the code which I am going to do for the statement coverage. Okay, here. Yeah. I am going to do that statement coverage test here. Okay. So taking one two variable just like x, y. As we know that we can uh, declare according to our which are either low credit value or high credit value. Low value and high value that we will see. I am depending upon test cases. So, this is z value is greater than 50, then I will type, I will like to print as a lot z, else I am ending the code. Okay, now after getting this code, first according to the statement, then you have to focus how many lines are there in the code because here we are going to cover the statement at least once you have to invoke and revoke the all the lines. So, one, two, how many lines are there? Three. Four, five, six. So when you approach for tool validation for any other tool like a cost or RTRT or in your compiler, it will be automatically the number is going to be in one is different. While approaching you can know how many lines are available. Okay. So these are the statements. One, two, three, four, five, six statements are available. So I'm going to write for the uh, test cases analysis for the statement coverage respective. So I just number it the every code line here. Yeah? For the six line, how many test cases we could write? We have to be no actually here. Yeah? So I am taking one test case, providing x equal to two and y equal to three. And again I am giving x equal to zero and y equal to twenty five. I mean, x equal to 40 something or 47 and y equal to 1 as you know that so if we provide x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 these are the 3 inputs I am trying to do according to my test case 
test one underscore but this is my first test case test case one underscore two this is my second row this is one test I'm doing the three permutation combination underscore three so first we got focus on this is condition based actually okay so when condition is true there was one code execution condition is failed there was one code execution that will be the completion of your code all okay so on true basis i am writing this test cases another one is false basis i am writing code so now if you provide x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 what will be value is that value you can see here if you give x equal to 2 2 plus pi into 3 so 3 into 6 6 3 into sorry 2 into 3 6 6 plus 2 8 so 6 uh, is that equal to 8 means uh, would it uh, yeah, okay now that z is greater than 50 this condition will be true or false can you say 8 is less than 50 obviously it is false then this part will execute this will be accepting the values and expression will execute and this condition is fail. so when this condition is failed then code will end so except this fifth line except this fifth line rest all code admin executed as we know that the c4 and this condition is failed so it will be end of code okay so what are the lines are cleared in the first code first condition basis so one two three and four four is restate eight and five is not accepted due to the condition failure is not printed now six is executed so now one to six lines i had covered here so out of six i had covered around seven lines seven out of six sorry six out of seven uh, i'm sorry five lines have been covered one two three four five it means uh, Two, four, five. 5 out of 6 okay exactly so 5 out of 6 lines I had covered according to this test case so around 84 percentage I covered code so except that one line is not executed okay that we are supposed to be covered so this is the way we can check it and similar manner this also and uh, y equal to 25 x equal to 0 as we know that so y equal to 25 y equal to 25 so 2 into by 50 50 and x equal to 0 so 50 is that equal to uh, so is that equal to 50 then 50 less than 50 it's wrong this also a similar code will be executed 1 to 6 this and actually what i am trying to say here x i am giving low value y i am giving high value x i am giving low, uh, uh, low value y i am giving high value Okay, if I am giving high value, why I am giving low value? Just for the test purpose, presentation condition. Okay, now what is the value of from here? Is that equal to 47? Here also false condition. Okay, uh, so 84 percent. If I want to cover this condition, I have to make true means another I have to be here. It should be go beyond that. Uh, this condition is okay. Uh, if I provide x equal to 20 or y equal to 20, any other bigger value. This is a test case. 1 underscore 4. Okay. So, uh, I would like to give x equal to 20 value, big value. And y equal to 25. So, what is the z? Z will be 60, obviously. It becomes 60. Again. 60. So, here how many lines are covered? Uh, so, uh, followed by this condition is true. Then print x equal x equal, then up to here it's in there. So true basis, this all will be executed. Okay. So I provide x is 20 and y is 25. Is that value becomes 60 as per the Boolean expression? So if z is greater than 50, it means you now the uh, compiler will assign z as a 60. Okay. 60 is greater than 50. So preprocessor is assigned to the next statement because it is true. So print large z obviously okay. So fifth line also executed then 
programming and the six time. So one to six here I covered all the possible two cases for the two conditions. Condition met true here. True, a condition met false. So I hope you made me understand this condition. Now under the same coverage, both coverage stuff. Okay. So this is the way. What exactly is statement coverage concepts? As per the DO also, it is standard for the Airworthy application. Those who are developing for the Airworthy software. Okay. So being a more effective and more efficient part of the good test technique for the statement coverage. Okay. Now you may be understand what is statement coverage. And now it is easy to do. Actually, uh, okay, do you understand? This is one small code I have written here. One small expression will be how many statement is there? Based on this code, according to my structural statement analysis, we can say two condition on execution, false condition on another flow. You are supposed to understand the following uh, like flow also. Okay, what is the sequential based on the forward condition? false condition based on the true condition okay very simple manner i explain the similar manner only in, in very easily you can approach any of the object code if you take you have to know generally you should know how to analyze that code actually in generally code what and all is there already as i told you that actually very simple concept it is actually um, what and all structural basis what and all path is there what and all statement is there what and all flows are, what is the sequence for that many functions are there, what are not dependent on, what are not independent, okay, so you are supposed to know all those things, and also division condition, modified condition, and what are not transition, one transition to other transition, what is the state, what is the state transition, okay, in case of all, this all we are supposed to be understood, now we will see the, uh, thanks for being the patients, thank you very much.